Hello, Mr. Kaczynski with you. Slope intercept form, we're going to write equations given different amounts of information. This is part of section S in IXL's Algebra 1 skills. Here we go. First of all, slope intercept form, quick review. It's this form, y equals mx plus b, where m is our slope, our rise over our run, our change in y over change in x, our constant rate of change, and b is our y-intercept, the value of y when x is zero, our starting point. Okay, so a line has a y-intercept of four and a slope of nine, write its equation in slope-intercept form. <clears throat> All right, well, it's y equals slope times x plus the y-intercept. So in this case, what are we given? That the y-intercept is four, and a slope of nine. So our equation will be y equals, we'll just replace m with the slope, which is nine, times x, plus our y-intercept. And there we go, done. y equals nine x plus four. If they give us y-intercept and slope, or slope and y-intercept in the opposite order, um, should be easy for us to write an equation. All right, again, we're given slope and we're given y-intercept. So y equals mx plus b, where m is slope and b is the y-intercept. So in this case, we'll do y equals one times x um, plus negative three. How about we just write minus three? Okay. And even then, I think I can go a little bit further and get rid of the 1, because 1 times x is just x, right? So how about just y equals x minus 3? The line whose slope is 3 and y-intercept is 0. Slope is 3 y-intercept is zero. So again, y equals mx plus b. So we'll do y equals three times x plus zero. But again, if you add zero to three x, you're just gonna have three x. So it's really kind of pointless to have that plus zero. Let's just make it y equals three x. So simplify after you put things in. All right, then they start taking stuff away from us. Now we don't have the y-intercept. We do have slope. We have that a line runs through a point, okay, and has a slope of 2 fifteenths. What's its equation? So let's start off with our equation, uh, our slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. And let's think about what we're given here. We are given slope is 2 fifteenths. And we're given an xy pair here that works in the equation. So um, I could put 15 in for x and 2 in for y. And the only thing I don't know in this equation is the y-intercept. So I could solve this equation for b. Here's how we do that. It's the same steps pretty much every time. Multiply the slope times the x value that's given to us. 2 fifteenths of 15 is just 2. And then subtract 2 from both sides. And we end up with b equals 0. All right, so our equation is y equals 2 fifteenths times x plus 0. But again, why would we write the plus 0, okay? We don't need to. We'll just do 2 fifteenths times x, and we'll call that good. So in that case, they only gave us the slope at a point, we had to go figure out the y-intercept by plugging things into the equation and solving for it. All right, one more. And in this case, 
we're not given the slope or the y-intercept. We're going to have to find both of them. All that we know is the line passes through the points 8, 37, and 2, 31. All right, we need the slope. Let's figure out what m is. Uh, it's the change in y over the change in x. So that would be 6 over 6, which is 1. All right, and now we need the y-intercept. So we're going to plug everything into the equation that we know into the equation y equals mx plus b. Okay, so we've got a y value, we've got an x value. In fact, we've got a couple, and we just figured out the slope. So here we go. Let's use 837. So 37 equals 1 times 8 plus b. We can multiply. 1 times 8 is 8. And then subtract 8 from both sides, and we get 29. So our y-intercept is 29. And I want to take a point here, or take a second to show you that we could have plugged in 231 as well. We could have done 31 equals 1 times 2 plus b. And then multiply 1 times 2, and you get 2. And then subtract 2 from both sides, and you still get 29. All right, so our y-intercept is 29, no matter which of the two points we use in the equation, as long as we calculate the slope correctly, that is. So our equation, then, is going to be y equals 1 times x plus 29. But remember. 1 times x is just x, so let's just write our equation as y equals x plus 29. Alright, so when we're not given the slope or the y-intercept, use the points to find the slope, and then use the slope and one of the points to find the y-intercept. Good luck on writing an equation in section S of IXL's Algebra 1 skills. Let me know how it goes in the comments.